Hi, I'm Mr Parker and this is question 6 on the OCR Mechanics 1 paper from January 2010. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. A swimmer C swims with velocity V meters per second in a swimming pool. At time t seconds after starting, V equals 0.006t squared minus 0.18t plus k, where k is a constant. C swims from one end of the pool to the other in 28.4 seconds. In part one, we need to find the acceleration of C in terms of T. So here's our expression for V. To get our expression for A, we need to remember that the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity, how fast the velocity is changing. So that becomes dV dt. So all we need to do is differentiate this expression here and that will give us the acceleration. So multiplying by the power would give us 0.012t. And for the second term, we need to drop the t, so we get 0.18. And that's simply our acceleration. Part 2 says, given that the minimum speed of c is 0.65 meters per second, show that k equals 2. In order to help us think about the minimum speed of c, let's think about what v would look like if we plotted this curve here. The largest power is t squared, that would imply that we've got a parabola and it would be u-shaped. That means that the minimum would occur at the bottom and that also there would only be one minimum. Hopefully from core 1 you should know that to find the minimum point of a curve you differentiate it and then you set that equal to 0. So we're trying to solve when dv dt equals 0. Also, sometimes you may need to take into account the second differential and make sure that's greater than zero for a minimum point. But as we've just discussed, this is a parabola and it's only going to have one turning point and that will be a minimum, just thinking about the shape of it. We've already found dv dt, that's this expression here, so we just need to set that equal to zero. Adding 0 0.18 to both sides gives us 0.012t equals 0.18. And you could use your calculator for this, but it's not really necessary. Multiply both sides by 1,000. That will give 12 here and 180 here. And then do 180 divided by 12, which gives us 15 seconds. What we found here is the time at which the minimum point on this curve occurs. But we're actually trying to find the minimum speed. All that we need to do now to find the value of k is say that when the t equals 15, our velocity here, which is 0.65, equals 0 0.006 multiplied by 15 squared minus 0 0.18 times 15 plus k. And if we put the right hand side into our calculator, it gives us minus 27 over 20. So 0 0.65 equals minus 27 over 20 plus k. So all we need to do is add this fraction over to the other side. So we get 0 0.65 plus 27 over 20 and that shows us that k equals 2. In part 3 we need to express the distance travelled by c in terms of t and calculate the length of the pool. Remember in part 2 we found out the value of k, it was 2 so I've just put that into our formula for v here and to find the displacement at any given point from the velocity we need to integrate. If you remember displacement is the area under a graph we get x is the integral of v with respect to t. So that just means we're going to integrate this function here. And to do that, we're going to increase the power and then divide by the new power. So increasing the power makes it 3. And if we divide 0 0.006 by 3, we end up with 0 0.002. And then we multiply that by t cubed. Here, think of this as t to the power 1. Increase it, becomes t squared. Divide through by 2, you get 0 0.09 t squared. Don't forget you can use your calculator for these bits if you're not too confident with your mental arithmetic. Integrating 2 gives us 2t and don't forget your plus c on the end. To find the value of c we're going to use the fact that at t equals 0 the swimmer is at the starting position so x equals 0 and if I substituted 0 in for all these t's everything would disappear on the right hand side apart from the c so we would get 0 equals c or c equals 0. So our final expression for our displacement is x equals 0.002t cubed minus 0.09t squared plus 2t. Using this, we can then calculate the length of the pool. In the question, it tells us that the swimmer can swim from one end to the other in 28.4 seconds. So that's going to become our value of t. So we'll call the length of the swimming pool L. And that's going to be given by 0.002 multiplied by 28.4 cubed minus 0.09 times 28.4 squared 
plus two lots of 28.4. And that gives us 30.0 if we round to three significant figures.